Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if you're spying on a Scorpio. Personally though, I think your moon sign is going to resonate the best. So if you don't know your moon sign, there's a little link in the description box below this video that'll tell you that. There's also a video that'll explain to you why um, I believe that your moon sign is going to be the most resonating thing for you. But uh, let's not take up time in this love video. We all want to know what kind of love stuff's happening for single Scorpios in February. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so this one just left right out of the deck, the tower card. The old way of doing things, the old kind of relationships we have, it might be like a dramatic departure from that, right? But it's important because the way that we were doing things or the way that we were meeting people or the people that we had in our life, it was not the best kind of scenario for us. So now we have this awesome opportunity in order to create something new and better. Yay! So what's kind of going on with you in the month of February in regards to your love life? They're like, you're actually super lucky in love. Good, good. And like in all aspects, okay? Not just lucky in love, but like in regards to the kind of people that you're attracting that can make your life better in every way, okay? Like they'd be a really good friend. They'd be a better communicator than what you've experienced before. Um, maybe they inspire you to make more money. Maybe they bring, you know, if you end up cohabitating, bring... Uh, more wealth to your life like they're just so lucky for you in so many ways put you in contact with the right people that kind of a thing so awesome luck is like really working for you in the month of february but a lot of the reason why you're experiencing all of these so-called lucky moments is because of hard work that you've done leading up to this now this could be actual physical work this could be like things that you've been working on okay but um, like in a tangible way. But this could also be your own personal growth and development, okay? This could be things that you've been um, telling yourself, like positive affirmations. This could be like looking at a vision board that you made. This could be, um, you know, starting a meditation practice or yoga or who knows what. But whatever kind of work that you've been doing, it is all starting to pay off now. Everything that was shitty and unlucky from before in regards to love crumbling apart and now new, better things on their way. So what fantastic news for Scorpio. I'm so excited for you. Um, I'm a Scorpio moon, so I'm excited for me as well. But they're like, don't forget though, you gotta fucking let go. So I want to tell you a little story. I had a fucked up shitty relationship for like the last five years okay now um this person like every once in a while keeps coming back like hey i want to be like the best possible version of myself for you and blah 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 let's get back together our life will be amazing and okay so i mean honestly i do think that these are things that he does mean when he says them i just don't think he's capable okay but um I'm, I'm doing good on my own, okay? I've realized that I want to leave that in the past. Now, um, the thing about this relationship, and we'll get back to your reading in a minute, but I feel like personal anecdotes are a good way for us to learn. Okay, so the thing is, we were aligned in a lot of ways. There were a lot of things that complemented each other and made each other's lives better as a result of being together. He was a lot of what I wanted. I was a lot of what he wanted. There were some things obviously that didn't work, which is why it was toxic and imploded. But my point is like on paper, looks like the person that I wanna be with, okay? So when he comes here saying like all of these things, like, hey, I wanna give you this, I wanna do this, blah, blah, blah. your life would be better, it would be easier, blah, 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 blah. Um, it can be a little bit tempting. So um, I'm largely like ignoring these messages and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden it occurred to me, oh my gosh, even though I'm like a little bit annoyed that you're coming here with the same old bullshit as every other time before and I'm not buying it, um, Thank you this time for reaching out to me and sending me these messages. The reason why sounds a little fucked up, but it occurred to me 
that that means a miracle in my love life is about to come through. Because there's, you know, there's the law of attraction that we're drawing in these things that we desire, that we want, okay? But there's another law that a lot of people forget about or they just don't know about called the law of opposites. And oftentimes, right before this magical miracle of all of these things that we want shows up in our life, we get tempted by the universe, God, Allah, whatever you believe, with something that's kind of close, but not quite what you want. And it's like to see if you will settle for less than what you're asking for, okay? And so I realized, oh my gosh, the fact that you're reaching out and trying to offer me everything that you perceive that I would want, okay? Which is pretty accurate. We know each other for five years, right? Everything that you perceive that I would desire from a relationship, from a partner, um, you're offering me all of these things and you're trying to give me all these guarantees and assuredness, like, and I'm rejecting that. That means that by rejecting it because of the law of opposites, this was the opposite thing so close, but not quite my blessings coming and boom, this right here saying all this luck is turning in our favor is personal, um, assuredness for me <laughs> is like, whoa, this is resonating hard. So yay. Awesome for all of us Scorpios. Okay. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on. But the point is when we have that tower card pop up twice, it's like leaping right out of the deck. They're like, y'all have to let go of whatever this is that you know is bad, that you're hoping is going to be good, but you know it's bad. Let it go. Because until you create that open space, until you declare to the universe, I don't want that then you're not going to get what you actually want, okay? That's the law of opposites. Now, next thing. What kind of behavioral patterns do you have in the month of February, for better or for worse, that are kind of helping you to bring in love or kind of pushing it away? So let's see. For better and for worse. Okay, cool. For better. You're like, okay, just kind of waiting, seeing how the process goes, taking it slow, just like, you know, working on your own self, your day-to-day -day life, and just, you know, if love slowly creeps in, cool, if it doesn't, cool, whatever. You're totally unselfish, too. Like, you might maybe have this fear that you are because you're so focused on your inner self and your outer self and, you know, achieving results that you want in other areas of your life, but it's actually, you're a very giving and loving person. Now, Scorpios, you are um, extremely emotional and not in a bad way. When you love, you give your all to relationships. And so um, people are going to notice that about you. They're going to notice your generosity and your love and your kindness and your care and um, really be drawn to that and be really attracted to that. So make sure that that's something that you're embracing in the month of February. Now, the things that are not working for you is that um, some of you might be a little bit depressed, okay? Because you're maybe focused on the fact that things are going slow instead of understanding that maybe something showing up slowly in your life means that it can more easily integrate into it instead of it being like boom, overnight, and then um, total chaos or drama, okay? Um, you might not be having loads of fun as you're dating, meeting the right people, but again, it's one of those things where it's like, try to frame this as a good thing, because it just means that you're not wasting time with the people that you don't want to be with. Ultimately, you're able to manifest whatever kind of relationship that you want. We already have a card pretty much guaranteeing us that things are going to change in our favor for the better. But some of you are more focused on the negative aspects, on the lack. Ah, I don't have a partner. I don't have love. Um, I don't have this. I don't have that. Like, I don't seem to meet the right people. And, and then that's becoming your reality. So you really need to make a shift as to what your thoughts are because what we think about, we bring about. And so if this is you... That's fucked up, guys. You got you to gotta stop. Because if you do want something great, the energy is right for you to have it in the month of February, but you have to apply your focus to focusing on that great thing that you do desire. Um, so what are some things that you can do internally or externally in order to further your own like kind of growth and bring love in? So they're saying connecting to spirit. Uh, is going to be very important. But they say like the way that you do it might seem kind of crazy and like it's not working. And so maybe that's why you hesitate with it. Um, a good example, I don't know if any of you saw the video that um, I made for Patreon like two years ago, but I just posted it to YouTube recently. Um, 
And it's like this way to, I think it's called hyperspeed way to raise your vibration where you kind of feel like a dork. Like you're just walking around and you're um, naming things that you like because as you're making fun of yourself in a certain way, it raises your vibration. Laughter brings your vibration way up. Okay. And when we're vibrating high, we're drawing in all the things that we're thinking about or the things that we desire. So, um, like kind of, a, it's like a silly way to express gratitude. So, ooh, sparkles, I like it. You know, um, I've got a lighter here to light my candles. I like it. It's purple, I like it. Um, you know, silly things like that. You're just walking around kind of like a dork and you feel like an idiot, but um, it's actually really helpful and it helps you to connect to a divine source. So that's just one method, okay? You can connect to divine source however you want or to the universe or whatever it is that you believe, however you want, um, but it's not crazy because this is where everything's gonna come from. This is how you're gonna get all of this luck. There's no such thing as actual luck. It's more like a blessing that is bestowed upon you because of where you're vibrating, okay? Now, um, what are some things that you need to change in order to attract love? And they're saying you've just got to be super, super honest. And then you've got to recognize that, yeah, okay, sometimes we're unhappy. Sometimes we're depressed. But the reasons why we have to go through these kind of struggles, right, with that tower card again and again, um, are sometimes things that don't make sense to us in the moment. They'll only make sense to us later. So maybe you were in a relationship and it failed and you're totally depressed and you know, like, but at least you're being honest with yourself. Like, okay, it must have happened for a reason. I don't know the reason though. Like what, why, like what would be the reason why I would end up with somebody who treated me like garbage and makes me feel like shit? Like, why is that? That doesn't even make sense. Right. Um, but it's more like, because oftentimes things have to be taken away from us um, over and over and over again until there's like nothing left. Like, you know how they say you have to die a lot of times before you die? Like that's how you reach enlightenment, okay? So um, what they're saying here essentially is everything that happens can feel bad, but it's not necessarily bad. Either you um, learn something from it or it's like motivates you to change course. For example, Tony Robbins always talks about, and like he's an expert, okay? He's always talking about how, um, you know, the worst thing that ever happened is, in his life was his dad left. But had that not happened, like he also says, it's the best thing that ever happened in his life. Had that not happened, he wouldn't have the drive to like grow and evolve and like figure things out and be a better person and kind of like teach the entire world how to grow and evolve and be better people and achieve what they want. So. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, I think he said, um, like, nothing wrong with being a truck driver, but, like, that's what his mom wanted for him, right? Like, that was what he was going to grow up and do because then he'd be making twice as much money as, as his dad and, like, he'd have maybe benefits or I don't know what. But he was like, um, you know, because I was, like, living in this depressive moment and, like, I was so sad and, like, all this bad shit happened and my dad left and, like, I couldn't cope. Um, as a result, it inspired him to go and meet up with like a motivational speaker or something. And then this person kind of inspired him to start his own evolution process. And now look at him. He's like a bajillionaire. And he's like famous and he's traveling all over the world, meeting interesting people like Oprah. I mean, come on, right? So the worst thing that ever happened to him, he decided not to live in that depression, but to use it as fuel to create a change. And you don't have to know why. You don't have to know where you're going, but you just have to have that trust, okay? That, that trust with that high priestess card that I was talking about, connecting to spirit, that everything that happens in your life, it happens for a reason. And it's a good thing. And that's hard to hear because, oh, you know what? Like, um, how could... Like having a stillborn child be a good thing. Um, it doesn't feel good, okay? It's fucking horrible. But as a result, what happens then later, you might realize wouldn't have happened otherwise. Perhaps you were married to the wrong person and the stress and the strain of experiencing that together causes you to break up and you each meet a better suited partner for you and then, you know, you have lots of babies with the actual love of your life. Um, perhaps... It's because then all of a sudden you create 
a group for grieving mothers and you help millions of mothers all over the world. Like these kind of things, they feel like shit. They feel horrible. They depress you. But they're happening for a reason that you can't see and you have to remember that and you have to have that trust and you have to be honest with yourself that if you look at your life and you think about something really bad that happened to you in the past, um, it's usually also something good that happened to you because it inspired a change. It got you on a new and different, better path. And so that's essentially what they're saying. So with that tower card, it's almost like a warning. Some of you are going to have all this awesome luck in your love life in the month of February. But those of you who are going to sit there and you're going to wallow and you're going to be like, poor me, life is unfair. Actually, let me pull that up because today um, I just pulled a Snapchat card of the day. I'm not always good at doing the Snapchat card every day to be honest, but um, look at this. It's the justice card in reverse. And it says, okay, life's not always fair. Do you wanna wallow or you wanna get over it? It's your choice. Remember what you think about, you're gonna bring about. Totally a Scorpio energy for, for love. So, um, so essentially it's your choice. Do you wanna have all this good luck and love or do you wanna sit here and be like, oh, everything sucks, your choice. Your choice. So there's not saying don't feel your feelings. You're right that sometimes shit happens and it sucks. But you have to have a trust that it's for a reason that you can't quite see yet that will better you. They're like, you don't feel successful necessarily in love right now. And that's okay. But maybe that's because you're not with the wrong person then. Okay? Maybe that means that you're available when the right person shows up with that luck card. So um, what do you need to let go of? to kind of allow love into your life in the month of February, Scorpio. And they're like, um, all of these ideas about the longer term, you may be really, really focused on what you want your life to look like 40 years from now, 50 years from now, 30 years from now, 20 years from now. And they're like, if you could just be like a little bit more mindful and present, you're also going to feel better. Um, you're also going to feel, and kind of like that I like it video again, like I was talking about, you're also going to feel... Um, you know, every day when you're focused on the little things in front of you instead of the larger picture, then you're less likely to feel overwhelmed and kind of depressed about the trajectory of your life. You don't know when that awesome lucky person is going to show up and, and kind of change things for you, but you're the lucky person who gets to change things for yourself on a day-to-day, minute-to-minute kind of basis. Because they're saying the universe is trying to give you love, but if you're vibrating way down here in a depression energy, you're not going to be open to receive it. You're not even going to notice it. Okay, so love is trying to be offered to you, but you've got to raise your vibration and be in like a really positive, happy state in order to receive it. So they're like, this could be the love that is your happily ever after, the love that you always dreamed about, the love that like inspires you to kind of change your life on a day to day basis in a positive way. Okay, so don't be so forward focused. Like, I mean, yeah, it's good to think about long term goals, but they're like, in this month of February, don't be so worried about it because. When you're thinking so far in advance, it's causing anxiety for you. And so if you can be very mindful and just kind of in the moment in February and appreciating the little things that you see or notice, um, you're going to be really a lot happier and therefore a lot more likely to be one of those lucky Scorpios that brings in this person who kind of changed their life. Like a silly example. Oh, my candle's purple. I like it. Um, my gratitude journal. You know what I love about it? It says yes on it and it's pretty colors so every time I open it up I'm already in a good mood I like it silly things but that just is being mindful and in the moment and it's raising my vibration so that I'm radiating out this love energy where it has to come back okay so good luck I can't wait to hear how um it turns out for those of you who are radiating that love and light energy and see you next month thanks so much for watching my video Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.